Hi, I'm Nicole Carson, and this is my reflection blog over the ceremonial speech presentation. Question one, what was the purpose of this speech? The purpose of this speech was to give honor or give toast to someone that was deserving and valuable of it. Question two, how did you feel going into this speech presentation? I personally felt confident going into this because we have had several opportunities now that we have been in front of the camera, so I knew I could give the desired amount of honor and respect due to Beyonce because I have looked up to her and have been a fan of hers for many years now. I know that she is deserving and has done a lot through her life that she should be rewarded or given more attention to than she already has. Question three, did your speaker anxiety decrease or increase as you began your speech? I believe that it decreased because I feel more comfortable, as I said, in front of a camera. It's just become more natural and has felt easier to me. Question four, was your technology adequately prepared what could have been done differently or better? So far this semester, my technology has been easy to prep and maintain. I haven't had any problems or issues with it, so it has been a breeze. Question five. In terms of structure and organization, what element felt natural to you? What felt odd? Um, as I have previously stated in the past, I do have issues with the body and the outlines. As I become more aware of it now, I realize that I do need to work on it. Within the structure and organization within the speech, I felt that it, the introduction and conclusion definitely did come easy to me. I just always struggled with the body. I have so much to say that I just write it all out, make it all on the paper, and I just feel like it becomes then in a sense all meshed together and it kind of repeats itself over and over. So I know that flow is lacking within the body because my introduction and conclusion start and end the speech just as they should but the body is a main part of the speech, so that definitely should be the main focus of it. Question six. How did you consider your audience when developing your speech? How did your audience respond to your speech? I thought that my audience would definitely appreciate my choice of Beyonce. As far as I'm aware, most teenage girls do love Beyonce and have her as her role model, so I was comfortable that the girls would appreciate my choice of her. My audience was respectful, and they thought highly of the topic because it was brought to their attention, and now they think more of her and are concerned with her and what she has done throughout her life. Question seven. What did you do in your speech that worked? What didn't work? What areas can you target for improvement? Within my speech, I set a lot of time aside so I wasn't procrastinating until the last minute. By doing this, it helps me to prepare for all that comes within a speech, which can be very tedious and time-consuming. This helps to relieve my stress as well as doing a fair amount of research so that you can back up your topic. Because I wanted to give Beyonce the desired amount of honor and that she deserved because she does deserve everything she has and I didn't want to have false information and I wanted to like have my claim and defend it. Flow within the body was lacking and I thought it was hard to organize the information presented as I did as best I could. In the future I can definitely focus solely more just on the body so that your transitions are flowing and they become more easier so the audience can understand. And the last question, question eight, I chose chapter 18, page 159. It said, practice doesn't mean perfect, but it helps to balance it out. The more time you set aside for assignments, such as speeches, it helps to calm the speaker down and feel more prepared. Overall, I thought this presentation was well. Thank you.